Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to take a deep dive into a topic hotter than the laptop running 30 Chrome tabs. And here's how you can convert your Next.js application into a mobile application using a tool called Capacitor. That is now you can take all your knowledge that you have acquired while you building Next.js web applications or an old web application that you already have and now you're planning to make a mobile version of it. Now using this tool called Capacitor, you can just convert your next apps app directly into a mobile app. So let's first understand what a Capacitor is. So Capacitor is a cross-platform native runtime for web apps. So basically a hybrid app. A hybrid app is nothing but just a shell app that has a web view open in it and you are seeing the HTML pages rendered out there. So it is one of the open source native library and it is easily available at capacitorjs.com. Now to start with it, let's just go to install capacitor. Let's first start with the project. That is, I'll just go to a folder and now I create a new directory. I'll say it to next.js to mobile. CD to next.js to mobile and now using this tool called npx. npx is a special tool that is available for, from npm6. Now using npx, you can directly create any kind of application or you can invoke any kind of commands. Let's first do something like npx create next app. Now the name of the app, since we are already into a folder, we can just use a dot so that it will use the current directory. Uh, just go with default options no 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 and we st it started installing dependencies it just takes a few minutes and we are done now if we see now let's open up this in our vs code just to go over really basic things so let's first understand the next year's app the newest version they are using something known as app app router so app router is the one responsible for all your layouts as well as the routing. Initially, it was, was using page folder as the router, but now it has been changed to use the app JS, app folder. So we are not going to go into that. We are just going to start and uh, let's run this app. Use it and I think this should be good. Yeah npm run dev now since we as soon as we run uh, npm run dev it's gonna start a server on localhost 3000 and uh, let's see how does that look still compiling i guess okay there is some other issue anyways we got our next js app up and running now let's start converting it into a mobile app First, to convert it into a mobile app, we need to install few dependencies. That is the capacitor itself. So first thing we need is capacitor core and capacitor CLI. You can directly copy this link and uh, let's start putting it here. Core and CLI. After installing capacitor core and capacitor CLI, we need to initiate capacitor project here. So rather than creating a capacitor app, what we are doing, we are just integrating a capacitor into our Next.js app. For that, the command is really simple, which is npx cap in it. Here, since you have installed capacitor as a CLI here, the cap command is directly available, which is going to invoke this CLI here. We don't need to install the capacitor CLI as a global level. We can just install it for a project level and we can use npx to initiate those. So npx cap in it. Now it's a really simple question. Yeah, let's keep it npx yeah, package com.example.app. So basically the package ID is what how your mobile app is going to be recognized all over the stores. It is always a reverse domain format. So here it says com.example.iapp, which is I'm going to use default. You can have something like uh, our one of the product, which is Clevio. So we can have something like a Clevio.app. Uh, so like app.clevio.app. Uh, let's go and 
voila we are done we have created capacitor we have added capacitor successfully you can see we have app id app js web directory which is set to public servo and android ski but first let's change some configuration very first configuration configuration that we need to change is the web date itself so next js doesn't work with public directories how the react does so currently we are going to use out directory save and i think and we are good with it let's do clear and also let's install dependency that we need for actually having the android and ios apps so we just create copy this command npm i capacitor slash android at capacitor slash ios as soon as we run this command it will install the dependencies for android and ios now we need to initiate commands or initiate project for ios and android itself to do that it, there's also another command which is available npx cap and android at the same time we could also do npx cap add ios and now if you see we have an ios folder ready and an android folder ready with their individual code snippet in it now what else do i need to do can we just run it right away no we cannot because if you see one thing here that is the capacitor is asking for web there which is out so now if i do npm run build we need to build an app that is after converting after generating all the static files we are going to be using the static files to be loaded inside this web web view let's see npm run build it will just take few seconds before it can get the uh, optimizable done waiting 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 in the meanwhile you can still look up it to and i'll be adding the link into the description itself so here it says everything is done but if you see we have we don't have any out folder the reason for that when we are building a nextjs app it's going to create a separate directory dot next and will host all the caches all the for, uh, compiled files here and this is what get deployed at barcelona netlify but since we need an out directory we need a static file there is no html here that can be used there's nothing in this the servo cache we do not need this anyway so first thing what i'm going to do is update the config now there is something known as static exports in next years i will add the link for this also into the description you can check this out but what it does now is that when you're running a next build it's going to be generating an html file per root that is each file is separated an html entity and you html file which you can always ask for there is a simple thing that you have to update is you have to update your next.config.js and add this one line of code that is on next.config.js you just add output as exports initially there was next export command available that would do this for you but since the new version it has been deprecated and we just need to add this into the next config and it will get us output directly now if we do npm run build it will take some time and yes we have our output folder here if you see we have an html 404 page index html index txt and if i just uh, do something like oh, okay. now out is done we got all the things that is needed it's time for synchronizing all the files so we need to do npx cap as sync that's my nc so as soon as you do npx cap sync what it's gonna do it's gonna be bundling out the out directory and putting it will put it into into the app that is for android and ios folders so as soon as you do npx cap it's gonna update all the plugins copy the files from out directory to ios and android directory itself now let's open up a folder uh, we can do npx cap open ios as soon as you do open ios it will open our export workspace since i'm running it on mac i can always go for that the app is ready let's just do command r to run the app and the build has started we are running it on iphone 14 pro simulator 
and yeah as you see we ha all have got the iphone 14 simulator here let's see all right we are doing good and i guess it should take take a few more seconds uh, maximum to load up voila now if you see our next js app is totally inside an ios app but here's the one problem if you see that is this there is no safe area fixes that we can add using capacitors plugins itself let's close this out and stop tasks and let's get back to vs code and i can do same for npx cap open android it will open the android folder uh, actually i don't have the android studio installed right now so i can't show you that but it's really simple all you have to do is run the same command npf caps open android and it will open up the android studio and you can run the app directly from there i hope that this was really uh, helpful for you guys as i'm i've used this to convert my one of the application that i'm building trevio into a mobile app and that's gonna be launching on play store soon thank you guys bye bye let's if you have any other questions definitely let me know into the comment section i will be happy to answer it and also i have the written version of it on the medium if you like to read the link also will be there into the description thank you very much for being uh, being on this journey with me and see you tomorrow